Okay, we're live. Five, four, three, two, one. Committee on Legislation, Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. Councilmember Ferraletto? Here. Councilmember Glombeck? Here. Councilmember Rivera? Present. Councilmember Scanlon? Present. Councilmember Bowman? Present. Councilmember Wingo? Present. Councilmember Wyatt? Quorum is present. From the top. Item number one, letters of support and opposition to special use permit for 600 Delaware. Motion to table items one, two, and three. Seconded by council member Scanlon. Item number two, special use 2284 Genesee for vehicle repair. Items open. Um, this items, it looks like items two, I'm sorry, Bethany, did you call out item two? Because the majority leader made a motion to table one through three. So I'm sorry, yes. Okay, so if you can just recall item number four, please. Item four, food store license 1245 Bailey. Items open. This item is open um, for the licenses. It's not a public hearings aren't re required, but sometimes applicants are invited by the council member. This is in Lovejoy. So I will defer to council member Bowman. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I do have a meeting uh, set up with the applicant. Um, so I'm gonna, at this point, send it without rec and you know, it'll probably be approved at the next meeting. So, thank you. Thank you. Motion to send without rec. Seconded by council member Golumbeck. Item five, food store license, 1129 East Ferry Street. Items open. This item is open. It's an application for a food store license in the Maston district. Council member Wingo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is actually in Fillmore district. So well, this was mismarked. Um, is any, was the applicant invited or is anyone here to speak on this item? If not, since the Fillmore District Council member is not here. We will send this without recommendation. Motion to send without recommendation. Seconded by Council Member Golumbeck. Item six, used car dealer at 540 East Sullivan. Items open. This item is open. This is marked for the Maston District. I hope you're not making another correction. Council Member Wingo. No, uh, this item uh, should be marked for Approval with conditions. Motion to approve with conditions. Seconded by Council Member Scanlon. Item seven, used car dealer, 271 Dungeon Street. Items open. This item is open. It is in the Lovejoy District. Council Member Bowman. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. At this point, I'm just working with the applicant and the owners. Uh, regarding, um, you know, the inspection and going through that process. So I'm going to keep this on the table for another couple of weeks and, and we'll pull it at that point once I get clearance from our inspector. Thank you. Motion to table. Seconded by Council Member Golumbeck. Item 8, Ordinance Amendment of Chapter 175 and 307 for Parking Garage Structure License. Motion to approve. Seconded by Council Member Golombek. Take from the table items 9, 14, 15, and 46. Seconded by Council Member Scanlon. Item 9, local landmark 3157 and 71 Tonawanda Street, Hutters Manufacturing Company Factory. Items open. Um, do we have to open the public hearing first? Motion open the public hearing. Seconded by Council Member Golumbeck. So we have a few public hearings today. I usually say this at the beginning of the meeting, but I didn't. Each speaker is invited to speak for up to three minutes on each item. So is anyone here to speak on this item? Uh, good afternoon. Um, 
I'm Carrie Trainer. I wrote the local landmark nomination. Um, it is supported by the owner of the buildings. Um, the property meets three, four of the local criteria uh, for listing. Um, it is also going before the state board review tomorrow for listing on the national register. Thank you. Is there anyone else here to speak on this item? Council member Golombek. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, yeah, I wanna speak in favor of this as well. Um, I've been in touch with uh, uh, the owner, uh, his attorney uh, and other residents in the neighborhood that are all supportive of this. I have not received a single call uh, or email uh, of anybody that has any concerns about this. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, one of those positions where they're going to be able to um, get more funding in the future because of its designation. And this is going to help us to continue to redevelop that Tonawanda Street corridor between roughly Niagara Street and uh, Amherst. So um, I, for the record, am supportive of this as well. Um, and I want to thank everybody that was involved in this uh, um, in this proposal from the very beginning. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak on this item? Okay, then we will close the public hearing. Motion to close the public hearing. Seconded by Council Member Golombek. Motion to approve. Seconded by Council Member Golombek. Item 14, zoning map amendment 4668-7074 Leland from N3R to DIL zone. Motion to open the public hearing. Seconded by council member Scanlon. This item is open. Do Is there anyone here who would like to speak on this item? I see Suzanne Risman. Yes, hi, Suzanne Risman. I'm here on behalf of Lactalis American Group, um, the company that made the application for the zoning map amendment. Um, we originally uh, submitted an application to change the zoning from residential to light industrial. We did this uh, to be consistent with our property, which is a manufacturing facility directly across the street. Um, if approved, the zoning map amendment will allow us to build what we're calling a sensory building um, and add employee parking and visitor parking. This will help clear up congested parking um, on street parking for the neighbors, um, take our employee parking off the streets. If you would like, we can walk through very quickly the contemplated project. I know the project itself is not before the council today. It's the zoning amendment, but to give you a quick idea of the contemplated project, if we could just walk um, open the, um, the site plan, should be slide one maybe. Yep, so this is the proposed site plan if the zoning amendment is approved. Um, along the bottom half of this slide is all of the property that Lactalis owns. It's outlined in the green space. The rectangular um, buildings on the lower right-hand corner, um, the first one closest to the right is a auto collision shop right on South Park Street. The rectangular um, building be behind that, it would be our contemplated um, sensory building. Today, what is there is an abandoned uh, residential um, single family home. That home would be raised and in its place, the sensory building would be built. It's a one story building. It's just under 5,000 square feet. Um, it will hold um, a commercial kitchen, um, a sensory panel room for our sensory panel experts to taste um, um, our products that are manufactured across the street. And then of course, the parking that you see on the site plan as well. Couple things to note on the site plan. Um, the retention pond is required for code. That is, um, and we're also keeping all of the green space that you see indicated on the site plan, 
um, that will be used as a picnic area for um, our employees. The um, retention pond and the greenery, the location of that was um, done particularly to keep the parking as far away from the neighboring residential properties as possible um, so that we can provide a nice buffer between what would be parking um, and the, the back of the residents on um, Dallas. Another thing to note on this site plan are the three, um, the three rectangular um, buildings that you see on um, the left side of the screen about in the middle of the, the, um, the slide. Those are three parcels that we own as well. We use those uh, properties to house um, interns and um, the rabbis that um, come in and help us keep the cheese kosher in the, um, in the manufacturing facility. So if anyone has any questions about the site plan or the proposed, um, the proposed project, I'm happy to answer them. But other than that, because this is not on the agenda today, I would like to go back to the rezoning request, which is the item that we're talking about today. So happy Thank to answer. Thank you for your comments. What we'll do is give all of the speakers an opportunity to speak. And if there's any questions at the end, um, we'll go back to you and see if there's anything else that needs to be addressed. Okay. Council, okay. Member, Council member Scanlon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I know there are some people here from the neighborhood that, who want to speak, but um, I just wanted to thank Suzanne for coming in and doing the presentation. Um, a couple of quick questions for her as well. Um, Suzanne, you mentioned originally the, re the request was for a change in zoning to light industrial. I know some of the neighbors had concerns about that, um, that, that zoning um, abutting their properties. And it's my understanding that you're downgrading that request to a flex, right? That's correct. So prior to submitting the application um, request, we had um, informed the neighbors of the request. Um, <clears throat> this was done with an explanation, um, a written explanation in a letter. There was a packet that we put together, delivered it to all of the residential homes along Dallas and Zolars because they would be the um, residents um, that are immediately impacted um, by the change. So inside that, pa that packet, we included a cover letter that explained this contemplated project that I just talked to you about. Also sent um, some rendering um, photos of the contemplated project. Since informing the neighbors, I was contacted by Mr. Macri, Mr. and Mrs. Macri, who um, indicated that they represented the neighborhood or the neighbors. Um, and during that conversation, and I'm, I know that Mr. Macri is here to speak, so um, I'm sure he'll speak, but he did um, discuss with me three concerns. Um, and one of them was the zoning classification. So to answer your question, Councilperson Scanlon, yes, we originally um, requested light industrial, but after speaking with Mr. and Mrs. Macri and also the planning department at the city, we found it best to, and given the contemplated project is not going to be industrial use, um, we have um, determined that the best- um, Is it really? If everyone could keep their- computers on mute during the meeting unless you're speaking we would appreciate that thank you so um thank you um after speaking with the planning department the best classification um to address mr and mrs macri and the neighbors concerns would be a dc which is flex commercial um we don't intend to use the property um, for industrial purposes so that was the zoning classification was the first concern voiced. Another concern voiced was the noise that sort of reverberates off of our building into the neighboring um, yards. And one of the things that Mr. and Mrs. Macri requested was that we add additional buffers um, between the property lines. So we've um, certainly agreed to do that. They suggested trees um, and we're keeping the mature trees on the, um, 
on the property, but we're, we certainly will add additional trees to try to help buffer the noise um, from echoing off of the building. Um, the third concern that the Macquarie's raised were, was the retention pond, which is required by code um, and suggested um, you know, that it could um, be the basis for mosquitoes. So we offered to potentially stock the pond with fish. Um, and he suggested an, a, some sort of pump to keep the mod, water moving so it wouldn't become stagnant, which we agreed to. Um, I don't want to, we can look at the new renderings, but the renderings that I sent in address, I believe all of the concerns that Mr. Macquarie raised about this project. We've agreed to turn the retention pond, put a fountain in there to stop the water stagnating. Um, we've agreed to plant additional trees to address the noise concern and the zoning classification as Councilperson Scanlon suggested. We've um, agreed to take a reduction in the classification to be a more restricted classification, and that would be the DC Flex commercial. Thank you. Um, I had I got and I asked about the zoning and you, you tackled the other two questions I had. So, um, Mr. Chair, at this time, I have nothing else. I know there's residents here that want to speak. If anything pops up, I may pop back on at the end. All right. Thank you. So I could see some people, some I can't. So I'll try to call on everyone. But if I don't, you can just chime in and start speaking. Judy, I saw you. It looked like you were waiting to speak. If you want to just unmute your computer first, and then you can go right ahead. I think Judy, I think you're still on. You're still on mute. Okay. There you go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Hi, my name is Judy Macri. I live at Five Dallas Road, Buffalo. Um, I'm submitting a neighborhood petition. The majority of residents and um, on Dallas Road and Zollers. I have um, emailed this to several people, and it has um, 28 signatures on it. Um, just to let you know some of our concerns with the zoning. I know that Susan talked about it. Um, the petition is asked for rezoning for the DIL zone for the 46, 68, 70, and 74 Leland. Um, we're concerned about future industrial use of this property if this zoning is approved for the DIL. Um, we have, due to past practices of the company, we are very concerned that something down the road could happen and we will have no say so in, in future development on the site. Um, this property borders most of these residents um, and would affect property values negatively. Um, in the past, we were told an employee parking lot would be constructed when tractor trailers were housed there and um, staged in an area. So we had similar incidents where they said it was gonna be employee parking. We're concerned that this will happen again and refrigerator trucks would be running and parked in our backyards. So again, we were against that zoning. So if it's, if it's changed, we're not familiar with the DC flex zone. We will familiarize ourselves with what that code is. Um, she touched on our other concerns, which would be the noise from the parking lot, the three shifts of employees, snow plowing, et cetera. Um, buffering that noise due to plants or berms or something along the lines of that. Um, the pond area, um, what water source is feeding this pond, the aeration we talked about. Um, will there be fencing due to this is in the neighborhood with kids? Um, will there be some sort of fencing for safety reasons around the pond? Um, and just to say that in the past, we've coexisted with the company. And um, like I said, we look beyond the scope of the current project to what could happen down the road for our neighborhood and concerns with that zoning being approved for light industrial. Um, and we have many high noise concerns in this area that exist with air quality issues as well. Um, 
we would like as a neighborhood to be notified in the future of any projects that go on with Leland or reference to zoning issues or projects to come up in the future. And I just wanna thank you for your time. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to speak on this item? Nick, if you wanna just unmute yourself before you start speaking, that would be great. Okay, my name's Nick Macri, 5 Dallas Road. I uh, appreciate my wife uh, covering a majority of this item. Um, in the future, we'd like to get together with Council Member Scanlon and Susan Risman and uh, address our other concerns in the area. And, and hopefully we can resolve and work with them together on this project and uh, get it taken care of. All right. Uh, Thank you, Nick. Okay. Is there anyone else that would like to speak on this item? I don't see any other faces and everyone else is on mute. So if you would, please chime in now. Mr. Chair. Council Member Scanlon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just so Suzanne's aware, I spoke with the, the Macri's this afternoon on the phone and I would like to get together with Suzanne and some people over there to discuss some of the ongoing concerns they have uh, maybe later this week or first thing next week, which I, I know Suzanne's amenable to. So um, I look forward to continuing to working with both the representatives at Lactalis and the neighborhood to make sure that we're all on the same page here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Motion to close public hearing. Seconded by Council Member Scanlon. Uh, would you like to table this? This is being sent without recommendation. Um, we we still, um, I believe our chief of staff is on. We still require the negative deck to be filed. Um, so we can send without recommendation while we continue to work with the neighbors and the representatives at Lake Talos between now and next week. We'll have that negative declaration filed for next Tuesday's meeting. Okay. And I will follow up with the neighbors and the representatives over there as well. Motion to send without recommendation. Seconded by Council President Pridgen. Item 15, special Thank use you. permit 494 Almond for Tavern and N2C zone. Motion to open a public hearing. Seconded by Council Member Golombek. This item is open. This is for 494 Elmwood Avenue. Is anyone here to speak on this item? No, yes. If, if anyone's here to speak on this item, if you can take your uh, computer off of mute. Yeah. Yeah, Hello? we can hear you now. Oh, thank you. My if name you is Tommy. So if you can give us a brief, if you can just say, state your name and give us a brief description of the project. And then if we have any questions, we will follow up. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, I would like to open a restaurant like a former restaurant. The same thing, uh, including beer, wine, and soccer, and Japanese, Thai, and Burmese restaurants. Okay. Everything's almost the same. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else here to speak on this item, which is in the Niagara District at 494 Elmwood Avenue? I don't see anyone else. Majority Leader Rivera? And Mr. Chair, I'd like an opportunity to meet with the applicant um, before we make a decision. I just wanna make sure that there are no concerns uh, regarding hours of operation. Um, I don't have any objections right off the bat. So we're gonna close the public hearing and then send it without recommendation. Okay, motion is to close the public hearing, seconded by council member Glumbeck. Motion is to send without rec, seconded by council member Scanlon. Thank you. Item 46, special use permit 682 Abbott Road for tobacco sales. Motion is to deny. Seconded by President Pro Temp Scanlon. I believe that is the last item. Nothing further to discuss, motion to adjourn. 
Seconded by Council President Pridgen.